everyone, super excited to update you about Disney. We're at Caribbean Beach and we got one of the new resort rooms that had just been remodeled. Wanted to give you a really easy tour, show you kind of what it looks like and how we've, we've set it up. My, uh, could you stop with the laser please? Wanted to give you a tour of what the new rooms look like at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Here's the front door. Air conditioner is located as you come in to the left of our room. We were in 3518. Here's what the room looks like from the door. This is the queen bed that pulls out of the wall, which is pretty neat. The couch folds underneath and you move this out of the way. You've got the, the queen bed over there. So sorry about everything we're packing up, but I wanted to give a quick tour. A queen bed there. Sliding door to the bathroom. Really, the layout hasn't changed any. What we really thought was cool, and this is like a very minimalistic couch, and the bed there is not the best, but it's great for your kids. Really like this. This has wheels on it, and it pops up to be like a desk, which I thought that was really cool. I really like the crib that you can get at Disney. It helps us uh, cut down on stuff that we have to take. And uh, we brought an extra sheet for that. It didn't quite fit like we wanted to, but theirs is just a sheet that's crimped underneath, so it's a little better. There's actually three storage areas down here below, which I thought was pretty neat. Really nice looking. And again, there's one, two, three of those. Benches there. Let's pull this down, take this out of the way. This is super cool too, kids bed with the mural behind it, uh, really like that. And this is again right across the way from the queen bed. These do flip down, there's a nice aisleway through here, um, but we had this flipped up, we had our youngest, hopefully it does, it closes on its own. We had our youngest in the crib and we do use a slumber pod. My only gripe is the slumber pod door just kind of comes up here. It does make it kind of hard to get your kid out. Normally we bring a pack and play so it's really easy to get them out but that was my only gripe. It's kind of right here in the middle um, but it, it, it did fit over, it stretched a little bit and it totally worked. This is something that I care about as a parent. There's one light over this, and the switch is located on the door, which I thought was convenient as you come in, right? Okay. This fan is super nice, because um, it hits both beds, and that light is controlled with those. That's kind of the master switch panel for the lights over the bed, as well as for the fan. Really excited about all of the different drawers that you have. You get uh, this drawer and these three drawers for storage. That's the beverage cooler and that's the trash can. Good size, super good size uh, drawers. This countertop was awesome. The safe's located down there. Beverage cooler in here. Kind of your standard, uh, other than deluxe coffee maker. The cool thing about deluxe is it comes with Keurig, but we're not in deluxe. So here we've got this. They've stocked it for us again, which is super nice. Um, but where we're at, the, the new rooms are further down. Uh, we're in Trinidad. So we have the spy, spy glass grill, which gets coffee in the morning, but then open until seven. Some storage there. Of course, the thermostat. You get two sets of sliding door. This, this segments off the bathroom from the rest of the room. Then you have a shower room, toilet room that also um, slides. Standard sink, again, part of our mess, but we're leaving for today. Was really excited. You got a drawer with a steamer. Okay. And then you've got some great organization there. Another organizer drawer here, I believe. 
And the coolest part is, comes with a little stool for your little ones. Lovely tile too. Vinyl flooring, which you've seen a lot more of in Disney's rooms. And some really nice tile there. Nice touch. I, this is a nice touch. I think you're seeing a lot of rooms as these reading lights. Big fan of those. We were super excited to stay at Caribbean Beach. Really excited that we got one of the new rooms. Really my only gripes about this, and it's very minor, let me set you down. Really my only gripe about staying at Caribbean Beach is just the space. And you have the giant pond in the middle. Uh, was really excited to, to go over at Topolino's at the Riviera. But I put out another video, really disappointed. I think it's gonna change again in the future, but you, they, they, took, they took their menu down, so basically only get one entree for the price of what you used to get all you care to enjoy. But with Cream Beach, it's a great value. It's not a value resort, it's the Dizzy's middle tier. You're right over by the Skyliner, it's just across the way from where we're at. Even though we're really far down, we have our own bus stop, we're, there's like, I forget what the, what the one between us and the main building is, but we're the, the main building, the main pool, one whole set of units, and then Trinidad, where we're at, is, is really the last one down. Um, we do have our own pool, like all of the areas around Caribbean Beach do, um, but I think we're the closest probably to the Skyliner, other than the, the two that are, are right over there. So, really like where we're at, whether old room or new room, it's a great resort, um, it's just a little spread out, uh, but the people are great, the minis are great, pool is awesome for kids, and we, we like it here. Hope you guys enjoyed the room tour, and uh, yeah, catch you on the next one.